uh, you are not gonna like this, but I need you to reshoot the whole video. You've got to be kidding me. What's wrong with it? What do you mean what's wrong with it? You can clearly see you are looking at your scripts the entire time. You're not looking at the camera. I need you to reshoot it. Just use the eye contact feature in Descript. It'll adjust my eyesight so it looks like I'm looking straight into the camera. Yeah, right. There is no feature that does that. I'm not making this up. There is. No, I'm telling you there is not. Okay, how about this? I bet you have Rosé that I can actually fix the clip in a matter of minutes using the eye contact feature in Descript, and that way I don't have to reshoot the entire video. You know what? Fine. Deal. Stick around to watch me not only win the bet and score myself a free frosé, but to learn how you can use the new eye contact feature in Descript so that you can save time and improve the quality of your videos in a matter of minutes. I'm not gonna go into a full-blown explanation on what Descript is, but very briefly, I'm just gonna tell you that it's a tool that you can utilize to edit videos, whether you're doing podcast videos, Instagram videos, YouTube videos, whatever it is, courses, you can edit those here in Descript. And it's a very cool tool because instead of having to edit from the timeline of each one of these videos, it will actually transcribe the video, meaning you could go in and edit from the paragraph or the verbiage. So if you wanna splice or take something out, you simply highlight the sentence or the word that you wanna take out and it will clip it for you very quickly. So let me move on to show you where you can find this new eye contact feature within Descript. So obviously you have to have Descript and you have to have the video that you are looking to edit and to adjust the eyesight on. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna select new, select video project. I'm gonna title it for this one, I'm gonna title Chelsea Will Lose. Add the file over here. and I'm gonna allow it to upload. Once it's finished uploading, I'm going to select insert into script. Now in order for you to be able, hit done, in order for you to be able to use this eye contact feature, you have to select the video. Once it's fully done transcribing, you'll see it's done right here, all of the videos transcribed. I'm gonna come over here to the video, select it, and then I'm gonna come over to effects. I'm gonna hit that plus sign and the very bottom, the last selection or option is gonna be the eye contact feature. Notice it says beta next to it, which means that they are still testing it out and working on improving it. So that's really great for us. Now let's see exactly how easy it is to use. Notice that my eyesight is pretty well off. <laughs> it is definitely not looking straight into the camera. And so let's see exactly how well it's going to actually adjust my eyesight for this first pass. So I'm going to come over here, eye contact, and it's applying it. It should take just a couple of minutes in order to do this. Remember that my clip is short, so the longer your clip, obviously the longer it's gonna take, but it should do this in a matter of minutes. All right, it looks like it is complete. So now let's go ahead and play it. You'll notice it has adjusted my eyesight. Now it's still veered off a little bit, so it did tweak it quite a bit substantially, but I think we can do better. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to download or export this. I'm gonna come over here, select export and export, and then I'm going to do this process one more time so that way it will improve my eyesight and make it look like I'm actually looking into the camera. Let's see if it works. My video has exported. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm going to come back to back to projects, new, and do the process all over again. Now that took a matter of less than two minutes to do all of that. So I'm confident it's gonna take about the same amount of time. So this one's gonna be 
Chelsea has lost. Add file. Insert into script. And then once it has transcribed, just like last time, I'm going to select the video and go over there and add the effect. The video has transcribed now. I'm going to come select it, come over here to effects. Now notice, I'm going to make this a little larger so you can see. Notice that it still looks like I'm veering off. My eyesight is veering off. So I'm going to select it and add the eye contact effect. It's applying it now. It'll probably take about a minute to finish this. Okay, that actually took somewhere about three minutes, but I can tell that it very clearly did work much better this second pass. But I wanna show you very distinctly the before and after with both passes. So this is what the original video looked like. Notice that it's pretty egregious how far off my eyesight is from the actual direction of the camera. And then this is after I used the eye contact feature in Descript the first time. Now, once I downloaded that video, then I re-uploaded it into Descript again, and I applied the eye contact feature a second time, and this is what it looked like afterwards. So the video I started out with and the video I ended up with after about a matter of eight minutes. What do you think? How well did Descript actually move my eyesight? Is it something that you would find useful and something that you could use in editing of your videos here in the future? Let me know down in the comments below. I love it when I'm right. Hey, if you're an SOB small owned business, stick around and watch this next video right here. And don't forget to go to our website at www.thisseasonmarketer.com where you can sign up for our weekly emails. Trust me, you're going to want to sign up for those because we share with you every week new marketing news and information as it rolls out. So that way you don't have to spend time tracking this stuff down. Thanks again for joining us and we'll catch you guys next week, same time and place.